Right, get ready for some really, really weird results that have come through in the past few games. It's been weird, really weird. Hello and welcome back to The Real Deal. Today, slight change of schedule. We've got Getafe and Villarreal coming up in today's episode. Uh, as you can see from the dates here, there was an international break between the Deportivo game and the Getafe game. So I thought it would be easier to get on with the games after the international break. So hope you're all doing well. I'm doing pretty well right now. Uh, the Oviedo side is, is not doing so well. Uh, we'll just jump straight into it, look at these results. Uh, we started off the season last episode with a great 1-0 win against Real Zaragoza and I thought that was going to set us up for the season, we're going to do pretty well. And then next game, we had a shock 3-2 loss to Granada, who uh, have just been promoted. So, I mean, I don't know what went wrong there, but we lost 3-2. Thought the comeback was on actually in the second half when we brought it back to 2 all until Nano scores in the 92nd minute to win the game for them. We thought that was a poor result and, and not quite what should have happened. The next game is even weirder because we drew 3 all to Real Madrid, uh, Paolo Dybala getting 2 Sanchez getting one, but a late goal from Alex Fibas meant that we managed to rescue a point from that game, which was pretty good going. Uh, we then stepped things on a little bit by taking on Cadiz, scoring three goals there to make sure we won that 3-0. Kellen Acosta scoring a goal there and Rana Thomas with two penalties. Not two penalties, one penalty and one goal. We then came up against Tenerife, and after being in, you know, having two decent results against Madrid and Cadiz, Tenerife, a newly promoted side, surely we should batter them. No, we lose 3 0. Berkia is uh, with an own goal, and uh, a few of their players get on the score sheet as well, which is a little bit annoying. We then came against Valencia uh, away from home. Santamina scoring the only goal there. A very, very even match. It was one of those games where only one goal was going to win it. One goal, that would be it. And uh, Valencia, a team that we challenged with last season. We beat them last day of the season, actually, last season. Uh, so I thought we'd be able to do it again. Apparently not. But then the game we just played against Deportivo La Coruña, we managed to win it 1-0. Benjamin Rollheiser with his first, yeah, that's his first competitive goal actually. Um, yeah, it was because he'd been injured. Um, I spoke about him being injury prone. He was injured in the Granada game, missed all these games and came back for the Coruña game. So uh, good stuff for him to get on the score sheet. So looking at the league table then, as you can see, we sit down in 11th right now. So pretty mid-table. Everyone else has already played as well, so a win would take us up actually to outside the European places. So it's not the worst start to the season, but we should have had a lot better start, a lot stronger start against some of these sides. Now we've had a fair few problems off the pitch with injuries. A few players have been injured. Uh, Rollheister, as I said before. Uh, Borja Fernandez has been injured for a little bit. And Nemanja Masimovic is out for six to nine months with damaged cruciate ligaments. So don't expect to see him again this season really I don't think. Maybe towards the end of it actually, he might get back towards the end of it but he's he's gonna drop basically, he's not gonna be the same player that he was when we signed him, um, it's gonna take a lot for him to overcome this injury and, and get back to a level that he was good at so um, this could be a bit of a waste of a season really having him. He played for uh, six games, played fairly averagely and has now picked up a uh, potentially quite bad career injury to be fair so hopefully he recovers from that in six to nine months time but he won't be here for a long time. There's also uh, a few unhappy players as well. It's not it's not great right now, is it really? Uh, Diego Johansson wants a chance in the first team. He's just not as good as David Cameron. And um, to be fair, if he thinks he's got a chance of replacing David Cameron, he's got another thing coming. Raul Thomas wants to leave because we've not really given him much game time. I've trusted Lozano, but he's not actually scored yet this season. So we're going to change that in today's episode. And then Fibas wants a new deal, but he's got ages left on his contract. So I said no, and now he's cross with me. So issues. So there are a few negatives, but there is a big positive. Berke Erza has signed a new contract. Um, as soon as the transfer window shut, actually, like a few days later, he says, right, no one's interested in me now. I'm happy to sign a new contract. So we thought, okay, we'll offer him a new contract. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll maybe offer him like £15 million release fee clause because it was £6 million. He'll, he wants to leave the club. He still thinks that's probably possible. So maybe uh, a low minimum fee release clause, £15, £20 million or so would be all right. He comes in straight away. And what does he say? 41.5 million minimum fee release clause, please. So I, th I thought we could negotiate that. I thought, yeah, that's probably doable. So uh, we've given him a 41 million pound release fee clause, which is wonderful. If someone wants to pay that kind of money for him, they can have him. If <laughs> Quite frankly, if someone pays 41 million pounds for him, they can have him. Right, that is all the news, I believe. I don't think there's anything else to really go through uh, in this. I don't think there is. So let's get straight into the game then. Burke starts in goal on his new contract with a back four of Varela, Kalita Carr, Pinto and David Cameron. Uh, Ruiz comes into that CDM position today 
Uh, where is he? Dorsch had a bit of a knock as well, actually. So he's sort of been, and actually Ruiz has been playing there a little bit better, actually. So Ruiz comes in at that CDM. Uh, Fibas on the left of midfield. Borja Fernandez on the right. Adzic on the left of midfield. Rolheiser on the right. And then not Lozano. We're going to bring Rauder Thomas on for today's game. He's frustrated. He wants to play games. He wants to leave the club. Uh, Lozano hasn't scored goals. So it's only right that we give him a chance today, I think. Right, kickoff is upon us then. Getafe getting us kicked off uh, in their red kit. We are in. The blue, as per usual. Getafe just below us in the table. They are, says here, 13th. Uh, one point behind us. So, big game today for, for both sides, I suppose. We need the win desperately because uh, we've had a few poor results against some some teams that we should be beating. Granada, I mean, Tenerife are right up there, to be fair, somehow. I'm not quite sure how. And as who now has scored a goal two minutes into the game for Getafe. So, this game, not going so well either. To be fair, it's, it's not, I'm, I'm probably making it out to be worse than it actually is. We're, we're sitting mid-table right now, eight games to go, which is kind of where I expected us to be. I expected us to be mid-table this season. Um, I do think it's going to be very difficult to beat eighth place that we came last season, but it's it's not impossible. I just think it's going to be very hard to get there. Second corner in a row for us, the first one, Ruiz uh, had his ball cleared over the, <sighs> over the top. Uh, went out from the corner, Borges Fernandez this time getting on the end of it but putting it just wide of the post. We're knocking on the door, asking a few questions now from set pieces which look to be a little bit shaky from Getafe. So fingers crossed we can maybe latch onto that and try and make something work for us from a corner or free kick. Speaking of free kicks, here's one for us. Fibas now on the ball on the end of that short one to Thomas into Adzic and he puts it in the back of a net. We've already identified the set piece weakness that Getafe seem to have in this game. We've capitalised on it there by managing to grab an equaliser there. Adzic with a goal, Ralph Thomas with the assist, which is pretty good. Also, I think I think the lag has gone between my voice. It was actually a lot worse in that last video than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I do apologise for that. If you didn't look at me in the video, it was all right. But if you looked at me, it probably looks a bit funny. I think I fixed it for this one. Um, the main issue seems to be when I have this camera on in 1080p, it had a big lag. It, now it's in 720p. I don't think there is any lag, but I could be wrong. Let me know down in the comment section. It's not too bad actually in 720p actually because it's a little small box in the corner of the screen, isn't it? So it doesn't need to be 1080p really, actually. So 720 should be fine for what we're doing. I just need to get a new computer. I think it's just this laptop. I think the, the issue of the lag is just because the laptop is so rubbish. Uh, so I need something new. All right, half time. Uh, we are the better side, I've got to say. I mean, we are the much better side. We should be winning this game, really. We just didn't switch on right at the start of that game. Uh, I'm going to go assertive. Time for everyone to dig deep in this game. Rado Thomas looks motivated. No one else really does, which is a bit annoying. But hopefully Rado Thomas, he's the one meant to be scoring the goal. So hopefully this will motivate him to get a hat-trick. Maybe, I mean, I, put, I get it's pretty standard flexible in this formation, which seems to work all right most of the time. I think we're going to go slightly more control, though, for the rest of this half. At least till we get another goal or two, perhaps. Because uh, I think we probably need to just... Maybe get a few more bodies up there. They're sitting quite deep, Getafe. So Raul Thomas probably needs some help as the, his cross is cleared only as far as Borja Fernandez. He puts his ball over. That's just that little lack of match sharpness that he's got. He's come back from his injury. He's not played many games this season at all. And that just that little lack of match sharpness there was the issue. I'll tell you what, I think it's time, time to make a few changes. Uh, okay, right. Ruiz is going to move into that box to box midfielder position. Uh, Borja Fernandez not played massively well. I know it's his first game back and whatnot, but he's got to do better than that. Uh, Saleh is going to come on for Borja Fernandez then in that sort of attacking midfielder role. And Cantal is going to come on that right hand side as the inside forward. I think, I mean, he's not played too many games recently either. Uh, but I do think perhaps it's time to give him a chance and just see what he can do. Here come Getafe though, a ball forward through the middle, Burke Erza with a fantastic save there. The contrast should have been a goal and really it should have been. He nearly rounded Burke. Burke did very well I think to stay on his feet to then get on the end of it. Uh, Mane now on the ball on the edge of the air. It has gone in the back of the net. Uh, oh, okay. Well that was not part of the plan. We're going to go uh, on attacking now. We're going to go a bit more fluid and I'm going to shout... Uh, push forward to the boys. We've got 15 minutes or so to grab two goals. It's a game we should be winning. If we look at the stats, we should be doing so much better. Uh, free kick for Getafe as they try and come forward. Enes Una on the ball once again. Puts it forward, but David Cameron with the interception. Barella now with a chance to uh, try and try and work a ball forward. We're coming through the middle of the pitch this time rather than out on the wings. Uh, out towards Cantor, your name is though, on the right-hand side. He cuts inside, gets past his man, into Raul Thomas, into Adzic. His shot straight at the goalkeeper, though. Oh, it's getting frustrating. I mean, look at the amount of chances we've created this game. Possession-wise, everything like that. We should be doing so much better, uh, but we're not. Clearly, as Mane now on the ball for Getafe puts it into the box where 
Uh, they, they, they probably should have had a chance there. They had a few more members in the box, or men in the box, than, than we did, I think. But Randall Thomas on the counter-attack now, tackled at the last second, and their clearance only goes as far as Varela. We can come straight back at them now. Uh, Soleil on the ball, out to Cantel, but cut out the last second. Kaleita Carr with a decent... I mean, it, it's just bouncing around. We can't quite deliver that final ball. Adzic out to Cantel on the other side of the area. Cantel into Fibas. Fibas, Adzic, Adzic. Again, that final ball to that final player just isn't there. Varela now with a chance. He puts it in. Cantel clear that final ball again, not quite reaching the man. Fibas on the edge of the area does not need to be a final ball. He just absolutely rockets it from distance. Fantastic stuff. Now let's encourage the boys. We've got five minutes plus added time. Let's go overload as well. Let's get this goal. Three minutes of added time has actually come down pretty quickly. Uh, and they've got a free kick. And I think this free kick is going to be the final little bit of the game. And there we go. It's all over. Two all against Getafe. To say that we've come back from behind twice is, is good. But this really is a game that I think we should have won. Um, I'm going to go cautiously. You were unlucky out there tonight. Pedro Pinto looks kind of happy with that. But I'm not happy with the result. So I clearly think the other rest of the members of the team are. FIBA shines as Oviedo failed to win, apparently. We've got four days until the game against Villarreal. We're sitting 19th. 19th they're sitting in the table. So we sh it should be a game that we're winning. I'm not going to lie. We should win that game. But... The form that we've had and the weird results we've had, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. I reckon we're going to start this guy. Now, I've been calling him George all last season, uh, whereas you in the comment section were telling me the entire season uh, it's, it's Jorge, Jorge um, instead, which actually, yeah, it is, isn't it? But, I mean, I can't go back now. I've called him that for a whole season. It was all pre-recorded as well, so I couldn't change it halfway through the season. It's just ingrained in my mind as George now. So you may have to just deal with it, I'm afraid. Um, so George, or, or Jorge, Jorge. I can't remember which one it is now, to be fair. I think it's Jorge. Um, he's going to come on and have a game today as well. Other than that, I think we'll leave it as it is. Um, yeah, I think we'll leave it like that for now. Let's, let's just go take him on. I do have faith in this formation. It worked quite well for us last season when we did use it and things like that. So uh, the player just needs to gel a little bit more. That's what it is. Just gel a little bit more. Or maybe I'm just a rubbish manager. That's probably what it is. Right, kick off. We are away this time, but we are in our blue normal kit, which is good stuff. So I'm looking forward to this game. Like, I think we can put behind us the, the, the disappointments that we've had in some games the games that we should have won but haven't won. Uh, I think oh, Rolheis nearly scored very early on there. Villarreal um, looked like they did actually win their game the other day um, because they are sitting on six points now in 17th. They were 19th a few games ago, or last game, before we kicked off, I think. So uh, they're doing all right for themselves. Maybe they're trying to get out of this. Maybe they find a bit of form. But Rolheis, uh, two minutes into the game, puts us 1-0 up. Luka Adzic with the assist. So already... They've justified their selection. Because I said, let's let's maybe not start them. Let's play without wingers. But they've just combined there to score a goal. So I've justified in my uh, starting lineup and formation. It's been a pretty even game so far, actually, I've got to say. Four shots, five shots. Uh, Possession-wise, uh, let's not look at possession. Maybe not quite as even as I thought it was. But uh, it doesn't matter too much as Borges Fernandez is injured. Again. Love it. Love it. Well, Dorsch is going to have to come on for him then in that CDM. He doesn't even like being a C. I think he does he. He wants to be a deep line playmaker, but we don't like that because Fiwas is the attacking playmaker. I don't want two, so he's got to come in as a ball winning midfielder. Thingy Majiggy's not on the bench. Acosta he probably should be actually because uh, he might have been a little bit more suited there. I've got to say, Rauda Thomas as well. He's not having a good game today, um, which is very similar to Lozano's season. He's not had really a great season. I've got to say. Uh, so far in his first nine games of the season or so. So, and uh, they've just scored a goal as well, Villarreal. And I didn't manage to sign another striker as well before the window shut. We need someone to score though, as uh, we are 1-0, 1-0 uh, one rather, I've got to say with them now. We were 1-0, it's now 1-0. We need to get back in front in this game to try and salvage something from this episode. Really, we need to get a win on the board for us. Ruiz now on the ball, into Rauda Thomas, into Adzic. Adzic behind the defence, must have stood on his kicking foot to take that shot there because it was well wide in the end. Corner for us, Rollheiser into George, who puts it in the back of the net. Uh, actually turned out to be an own goal. I thought it was an absolute wonder header. I mean, it was a decent header for him, I think, but it must have come off someone into the back of the net, apparently. Uh, George or, or Jorge is not going to be credited for that, which is a little bit annoying. As a defender, you don't really get many goals, do you? But 
so you want to take anything you can get. Half time then, 2-1, scored 40, 45 plus 4. That was a pretty good time to score a goal right before half time. Here come Villarreal though, early on in this second half, Damas right inside the pitch. Tadic uh, plays out towards his, his right back and 40 seconds is all it took him a second half for them to score a goal. Why? We seem to do this quite a bit. We, we seem, well, we've done it twice in this episode, concede very, very early on in a half, uh, which isn't very good at all. It's back to two all now. Not great. Here comes Rao de Thomas and Adzic. Uh, puts it out back to Rado Thomas, who finally does... I was literally about to substitute him off because he's not played very well at all. But Adzic puts a cross back to him. He just slots in at the near post. We're back 3-2 up. This is good stuff. Let's hold on to this. Oh, no, wait. There's another highlight from kickoff. And last time that happened, they scored. So let's watch it carefully. If they score now, I swear I'm going to do some substitutes. For that. I mean, I'm doing them anyway because that's how close it was. Right, Sunset's not really had... I mean, I was about to say Fibas off, but he's literally been the best player. Uh, Johannesson on for, for Cameron because he's he's not played very well. And is there anyone else I want to change right now? Defensively, we're not massively solid. Uh, let's bring Pinto on for Kalei to cover. It's all the subs we've got, actually. So um, hopefully nothing happens bad injury-wise. 15 minutes to go in this game and here come Villarreal now on a bit of a counter-attack. There's three of them right in the middle there that are looking pretty decent. Tadic was one of those three and has managed to put it in the back of the net. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say demand more. I'm demanding more from this team right now. We should be doing better than this. Villarreal not a great start to the season. Um, it's been a very, very even game. Lots of shots and things like that, but we should have done so much better there. We should have kept tabs on those three men we just let them through and one of them was going to score the goal and unfortunately they did the thomas though hopefully reinvigorated with his goal will try and do something magical now as adzic has been put forward again asenio he just he's a brick wall a brick wall today resulting corner is being uh put in by roll he so puts it out to ruiz on the edge of the area and that wasn't worth talking about burke now with another free kick uh quite a few highlights actually in the second half there's been a, a lot happening in this second half. George on the ball out towards Ruiz now into Fibas back to Thomas Roheiser who's in behind the defence tackled at the last second there by Costa who's played it back to the goalkeeper. I thought there could be a chance for us there. I thought we could pounce on a loose ball or something like that. Uh, but no, Villarreal coming forward back through the midfield although we've won it back and Adzic now using his pace into Raul de Thomas who gets it into Ruiz who just snatched at the opportunity. Had so much more time than he actually probably thought he had and put it over and that is the final whistle it's another draw this time three all and i mean apparently everyone thought we get beaten today so we'll say that to keep morale up uh well done proving them wrong but it's it's a game we should have won that well we finish the uh episode in 10th place then 12 points nine games played it's, it's not been the, the worst start ever but it could have been better borgman is out for three to four weeks with a groin strain uh, Fibas once again on form, apparently seven key passes. Well done, well, fair play, mate. That's pretty decent. Right, next episode then is going to be. Oh, I was going to do Espanyol and Abar, that Malaga are right there as well. I quite like Malaga, obviously. So I think we'll do Abar and Malaga next episode. So thank you very much for watching today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have done, make sure you drop a like on video, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, and I will see you next time for some more real deal action.